What's up, Glammies? It's your girl Mandy, and I'm back with another perfume video. So, this video is going to be about layering. So, if you've ever thought about layering your perfumes and you really don't know how, this is the video for you. Or maybe you have some perfumes that don't really project or last as long as you would like them to. That is another reason why you want to layer. So we're gonna get into this video about layering. If you're interested, stay tuned. Why would you want to layer your perfumes? Well, the number one reason a lot of people layer their perfumes is because they have a perfume that they really like, but it's not long lasting, okay? So you would layer it, which means you would use either a shower gel or you would use a lotion, and then you would spray on your perfume. So most of my fragrances that I buy, I try to get the gift set if my coin allow me to, but sometimes I don't. So I use inexpensive lotions like Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, um, things like that to help the longevity of my perfume or the projection or if I want to leave a trail, I will layer my perfume. So y'all, layering is not hard at all. The main thing you want to know when it comes to layering your perfumes is likeness, okay? The word likeness. So for example, if you have a lotion, and one of my favorite lotions from Bath & Body Works is In The Stars, okay? This is like my jam. This is my ish. Like this, I love this so much. I mean, it is like, ugh. My daughter cannot even wear it anymore because I wear it out, okay? So, one of the main reasons why I like this is because it has some of the notes that I love for myself. Keep in mind, fragrances are personal to you. You, 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 you. Not to me, to you, okay? So it's personal for you and what you like. So one of the main ingredients or notes that I love in fragrances is sandalwood. This happens to have sandalwood in it, okay? So keep that in mind, when you're at Bath & Body Works, which is half of the reason why I made this video because I went to their semi-annual sale. As y'all can see, I got my bag right here. And I picked up a few lotions and I thought, you know what? This would be a good idea to talk about layering because I love to layer this fragrance with a few of the perfumes that I own, okay? so. Since we're talking about In The Stars, let's talk about the first fragrance that I love to layer with this perfume. And it is Carolina Herrera Good Girl, okay? I love to layer these two together. It smells so good. Now this, to me, is a heavy hitter anyway. I mean, it has so much projection, longevity, um, it just is an all-around good fragrance to me. I love it. It's sexy as hell. It, and it goes so well with this lotion. So, I would recommend that you practice, okay? For, take some lotions that you already have in the house right now and go rub it on your hand and, well, first read the, in, the notes on the back. So, this has sandalwood and it has amber in it, okay? Now, you, your lotion is not gonna hit every last single note that's in your perfume, unless you bought the lotion that goes with the perfume, okay? But it has some lightness to it, okay? So keep that in mind. I also like to layer this with um, Ariana Grande's Cloud. This is a sweet gourmand, and this has sugar tangelo in it. So it has a sweet vibe to it already. So you know that it's going to blend well with your perfume, okay? 
you so how I like to do it is I take my shower if I'm getting ready to go somewhere I take my shower and I get out dry myself off and I put on the lotion okay right after I dry off and then I put on the spray and then I let the air I air dry for a little bit and then I spray my perfume okay so these three combinations I love and these three I love they go together too so in the sale today I bought three fragrances I bought um, violet leaf and blackberry I bought champagne rose and I bought a raspberry pink lily okay so I'm just gonna tell y'all right now I am not a huge fan of Bath and Body Works sprays like I used to be um, the only one that I really buy on a regular is the in the stars and um, yeah that's about it the end the stars but I went in and and these smell really good and I said hmm, the champagne rose I may be able to layer this with something that I have at home already and I can so when I thought about layering it I thought about layering it with my Chloe okay because in the champagne rose there is sparkling Prosecco, there is wild rose petals, and a kiss of amber. And if you do your research on the Chloe, there's rose oil in the Chloe. Aha! Aha! You see, you see what I'm saying? Are you, you here with me? Are we right here? Okay? Likeness. Like Ness, okay make sure that they have likeness like I said I know this is not gonna have every last single note in the Chloe but I needed to have at least one or two notes in here that correspond with the Chloe okay and y'all when I tell you it worked out perfectly it smells so good so if you are a perfume collector or you just starting out a game, y'all know the lotions that come with these fragrances are hella expensive. They not cheap, okay? So if you run across a good deal where you can get the perfume and the lotion together and your pocketbook is like, okay girl, go ahead, you winning, okay? But sometimes you can only get the perfume. So that's when this comes in handy. So I do have the corresponding lotion that goes with the Chloe and y'all see my, my jar is still full. I love this lotion so much. Look how beautiful this bottle is y'all. Like this bottle is gorgeous and it's glass, okay? So I use my lotion very, very sparingly. So it's still full, as you can see, it's full, okay? And it's thick. Look how, look, look, it ain't going nowhere. It is thick, honey, baby. This is opulence, you hear me? Opulence. So I would rather use my 395 lotion that I got from Bath & Body Works over my $100 lotion that I got with the Chloe, you feel me? So, you know, I'm trying to make my dollar stretch, honey. I don't know about y'all, but Christmas was, woo. So, moving on to the raspberry and pink lily. So, I was looking through my collection and I was like, hmm, what can go with this? So, in, in, in this uh, lotion, we have sun ripened raspberries mixed with soft pink lily and cashmere musk. So I just did a review, well I didn't review this perfume, but I put it in my video of top 10 fragrances that get you noticed in 2020, which y'all happen to love that video by the way. Woo, let me give y'all a way back, y'all. That video is almost at 11,000 views. Thank you, okay, y'all. Y'all the real MVPs, y'all love that video. So, focus. So, I pulled out my Versace Woman, which y'all can see, it is half, it's more than halfway done. And I'm really trying not to buy this on Amazon right now, but this is like 
one of my favorite fragrances, okay? Woman by Versace. So, likeness, okay? That is the word of the day, is likeness. It has raspberry in it, y'all, okay? Likeness, likeness. <laughs> I can't, ex I can't express that enough to y'all. When y'all get into layering, y'all gonna remember me saying likeness. Okay, it has raspberry in it, which makes this the perfect combination. So, okay, three ninety five. The next one uh, I match with my perfume is the. Violet Leaf and Blackberry. Okay, I actually found two fragrances in my collection that went well with this lotion, okay? And the first one is Lancome's La Vie Estabelle, which I just bought maybe like two weeks ago. Um, so in the lotion, it has green violet petals, Okay, sugared blackberry paired with powdery vanilla bean. And what is in this, you might ask? Vanilla. Likeness. Okay, vanilla. And I'm, I'm going to tell y'all. So I got my lotion and I, you know, put it on the back of my hand. And I sprayed the Estabel and I let it dry down. Because at first I was like, hmm, no, nah, this is not going to work. But I let it dry down and it matched so well, okay? So just think about it. If you have this at home, this fragrance, and you have this lotion, give it a try. Comment below and let me know what you think, girl. You know what I'm saying? So another fragrance that I own, I paired it with this as well. And I paired these two. They worked really nice with each other. It was it was a good combination. This this right here though, this this is a man compliment beast. And it does not lack to me my own opinion in longevity projection and it leaves a trail. So kind of overpower this a little bit, but I still feel like it's a very good combination. I feel also feel like the um, Estabelle can overpower this lotion a little bit as well, but I still think that it's a very good combination when you're trying to layer and you're trying to have your fragrance last all night longer than you long, a long time, long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I did buy the matching sprays to go with these lotions, um, these, I bought the matching sprays, um, I was really sad because they didn't have the matching spray for the Champagne Rose and I was kind of bummed out about that a little bit, but if I catch it somewhere else, I'll buy it. I really don't need the spray, um, but I mean, it would just be nice to have. If you really just want, you know, to be busting out in these streets, you know, having the lotion along with the spray, along with the perfume, man, you gon' they gonna smell you down the street, honey, before you even turn the corner, they gonna smell you. So, I mean, it would just be nice to have the spray, but I mean, I'm not crying over it. But anyway, that is how I layer my fragrances. So, I hope that you guys learned something today. I hope that this video was useful. I want to say thank you to each and every last one of y'all new subscribers. May you guys just really just, uh, y'all make me feel so much love and I appreciate it so much. I am so thankful to um, say if you are not a part of the Mandy Glam family, why not? Why? 
okay you need to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to my latest videos that I update and put on my channel <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I've been working all day. I'm hungry and I'm tired. But I just had to make this video for y'all. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, hit the like button. And again, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you lovelies in the next video. Bye.